first grade, it's Mrs. Butner here. I'm here to explain your activity for Thursday, April 23rd. This is your self-portrait. And I want to make sure that you have a couple things. You're gonna need a pencil. You're gonna need the paper that I send in an email to your parents to download. This is called self-portrait. And it's got your name, um, a place for your name, and the date on the top. The reason that it needs to be on this paper is this is going to go in your portfolio. The portfolio travels from year to year to year along with you to your next teacher. And then when you're in eighth grade, you get to look back at all of the different work that you did through the years. So it's going to be pretty fun. All right, you're going to need a mirror, or you can use the mirror in your bathroom. You're going to need some crayons, and you're going to need a pencil and the paper. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to establish where the center of your paper is. So here is the center. What I want you to do is I want you to go up a couple inches from there so that when you make your head, your head's going to go about right here. Here's a few common mistakes when we get started. We make maybe a circle that's too big and it's not going to have enough room for the rest of your body. Sometimes we make a, a circle that's too small and then you can't make any features like your eyes, your nose, your ears. I won't be able to see what you know about your features. Sometimes we make it too oblong or maybe it's too square. So you can practice a little bit before you get started if you want, but I want you to remember that nobody's perfect and this paper does not have to be perfect. So don't get frustrated, this should be fun, but I definitely want this to be your very, 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 very best work. Okay, take your pencil out and the first thing you're gonna do is find your head. So you're gonna make a nice ovalish, roundish head towards the top, right under where you did your name. Okay, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your features of your face. We're not gonna go draw, draw the rest of your body quite yet. Take a look at your face, go in the mirror in the bathroom or the hand mirror that you have. Look at the shape of your eyes. Look at the color of your eyes. Look at your eyebrows, you have eyelashes, ears, nose, mouth, etc. We talked about before how there's a little black pupil in the middle of your eye. I want to see that too. There's also some whites in your eye. Keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to let you go ahead and draw that while I take a break. 